Marquette guard Alizea Blockton's game-winning layup to beat the Butler Bulldogs was an exciting, important play. One that preserved Marquette's perfect conference record and extended its home winning streak to 14 games. It also happened under some of the most bizarre circumstances I've ever seen. Let's back up. Marquette and Butler are tied at the end of a back and forth game. The Golden Eagles have the ball with 4.2 seconds left and two seconds on the shot clock. Point guard Danielle King gets the ball and immediately puts up a long shot. This is footage taken from my camera on the baseline. On the last frame, the scoreboard is visible. The clock shows 2.9 seconds. My camera is shooting approximately 30 frames per second. So three frames equals a tenth of a second. Now let's unfreeze the footage. <laughs> Roughly 20 frames pass between there being 2.9 seconds left and the buzzer sounding. See, that wasn't the final buzzer. It was the buzzer to signal that the shot clock had run out. So the clock operator is forced to choose between not sounding a buzzer at the end of the shot clock, which breaks the rules, or sounding the buzzer and confusing everyone into thinking the game is over. It's a uniquely awful situation for that person to be in. One of the people that got confused was Butler forward Tori Schickel. She hears what she thinks is the final buzzer, grabs the rebound, and starts to walk back to her bench. But since the game's still going, that's a traveling violation. The clock never actually hit zero. Immediately, Marquette's Lauren Van Cloonen signals for a traveling call. The refs review it and agree, giving Marquette the ball under Butler's basket with 0.8 seconds left. Even if you didn't see the game, you can guess how this story ends. I mean, you've got to feel for Butler. The whole situation was awful for them, and nobody really did anything wrong. The clock operators and refs did what they were supposed to do, and Schickel did what just about anybody would do in that situation. It was simply one of the weirdest things I've ever witnessed on a basketball court. I'm Andrew Goldstein, Marquette Wire Sports.